every prison of the enemy you know prison represents stagnancy person will remain on the same spots it represents failure it represents backwardness it represents suffering and i pray for somebody here maybe you are here this morning and you are experiencing satanic prison and i pray for you by the spirit of god that prison sentence upon your life is terminated today in the name of jesus it is terminated today terminated today in the name of jesus the enemy will just do so many things so many people just to you know keep them you know where they are and that's why we say in this place that if you're having dreams where you find yourself locked up you can't get out locked up in a room you find you struggle so you can't get up please so go for deliverance or so pray to break down the door because something in your life is locked up that you like it or not until you get out of that place there is something you may not it's you that you are just battling struggling but something has been locked up god showed it to you in the dream and you refuse to do nothing about it but this man that was saying god prepared it for him if many people find themselves in that situation there are so many things many people will do many people will give up many people will start uh, saying no i will not serve god again uh, whereas it was god so everything is not the enemy at times it was god so that because the person that we open the door for him is coming to meet him in that prison and God just arranged it for him. Just stay there. And he was there. When he got there, he did not lose hope. Like many of us will lose hope. Facing challenges, they will lose hope. Say, hey, ah, hey, maybe God is not answering prayers here. Yeah. Maybe God, whereas it's God that packaged this so that you could get to where you are going. Praise the name of the Lord. God packaged it there. He was doing his best, giving his best in that place they made him the head of that prison many people would have either given up like I said or they would have looked for a crooked way of getting out of the place can you tell me something if he has looked for a crooked way to get out of that place where would he have gone back to Bible student where would he have gone to nobody's answering And then what would have happened to him in his father's house? They would have died there. The destiny would have died with his father. Brother all of them would have died of hunger. If he had used a crooked way. God is talking to somebody here this morning. That thing that you are going through, I had that. God put it so that you can fulfill your destiny. Very soon, very soon. And that's why the, that passage was given to us, Psalm 30, was given to us early. I gave it. It may appear things are rough, but it's a way of God taking you to your promised land. I want to pray for somebody here this morning. The divine connection that will take you from where you are to where you are supposed to be before the end of this month, it will happen in the name of Jesus. That your amen is not good enough. That your amen is not good enough. I pray for somebody here this morning. Any power assigned to delay your journey to your promised land because you are here this morning, I command them to expire. They shall expire in the name of Jesus.